One of the mistakes that I see a lot of daycare business owners make is thinking that marketing is just something that they have to do only at the beginning of you know their startup phase or maybe before a new school session starts. They think that's the only time they should be really focusing um, and focusing hard on marketing. And as a marketing agency owner, when I am working with clients, um, one of the things that I do is look at what they're doing right now to market themselves. And I would probably say 90% of the time, um, the only time that they've ever marketed actively is when they had places to fill or when they had just started their business right at the beginning. And that is a huge problem. My name is Christina Rosakos. I'm an early childhood educator by trade. I ran my own child care center for over 16 years. Um, I sold it a few years ago to focus on my marketing agency. And now what I do is I help child care business owners with their marketing needs. And in today's video, I want to focus on this huge problem that is definitely not going to help you grow your business. It's the lack of marketing strategy um, throughout the year, right? Not staying consistent. Thinking that marketing is just something that you do when a kid drops out or, um, you know, when you have an open house coming up, that's the only time you need to focus on marketing and nothing could be further from the truth. Why? Number one, the online space is super busy. You need to be able to cut through the noise and you do that by staying consistent, um, by having some type of online presence, by making sure that you're posting every single day so that you can stay top of mind, um, you know, in your audience's news feeds. So then the people that they follow, well, they can actually see every time you update your, your, your social media, right? That only happens if you really stay consistent. The algorithm, so Facebook's artificial intelligence, um, they want consistency. They want to be showing, you know, their users um, things that matter to them, right? And every time someone that's following your page, for example, um, likes one of your posts or shares or comments, then guess what? Your post and your page actually uh, gets referred to this person, right? And most of the time, um, when a local mom and dad is liking your post and they're following your page, chances are that they have friends or family members that have kids um, and they're probably in the same boat, uh, meaning they're probably going to be looking for childcare in the near future. The other thing you want to be focusing on is marketing. It's just a task that's just like a non-negotiable. It's not something that we treat as a one-time thing and then forget about it and pull it out next time we need it, right? So as a business owner, and now this does not matter if you're running a small home daycare or a larger center, you need to keep this top of mind that marketing is one of those things that is a non-negotiable. It's an income generating task, meaning it should be one of your priorities as a home daycare provider, as a childcare business owner, right? So staying top of mind, um, having a website that's optimized, making sure that you're asking for reviews and testimonials, making sure that you're replying and commenting back every time someone comments on your posts, making sure that you're posting every day, making sure that you're leveraging different tactics um, online that are going to grow your reach and expose more of your community to your business, right? That's how you stay top of mind. That's how you know you're actively marketing your center. So the next time you have, let's say, an open house or a live or something that you want to share, you're going to have a better response because people that have been following you for a while know what to expect. They know your face. They know your business. They know your brand. They know what you do with the kids. They know where you stand on certain issues. They know what the beliefs are in your center. And guess what? Next time you post that you have a few places open, next time you invite them to an open house, watch your numbers go up. If you're rarely online, if people have no idea who you are, only, um, you know, to pop up in their feed maybe once or twice a year, and then you're just completely dead throughout the year, then no one's going to trust you. No one's going to understand that you know, you're the go-to person when it comes to childcare because they don't know you because you're not in their feed. So marketing is a non-negotiable task for any business owner. And if you're running a home daycare, unfortunately, that means you have to be present on social media daily, posting content, engaging, um, having conversations with people so that you can stay top of mind and you can be a viable um, you know, service when it comes to child care. So listen, if you are a home daycare provider and you're struggling with your marketing, you just don't know what to post. You have a hard time reaching clients. You have no idea how to create posts, how to create captions, how to create videos. Um, tech kind of scares you. I actually have a 30 day social media content calendar that would probably benefit you um, if you fall into that category. So it's 30 days of captions. So 30 days of posts, 
um, and then 30 graphics to go with the posts. And then there's outlines you can follow and a calendar that actually tells you when to post what to really make this as simple as possible. Um, if you want to grab a copy, all you have to do is click under this video.